I got my first job as a Power BI developer not a long time ago and one thing which set me apart was doing a self-assessment. I'm going to show you in this video how I did it, how I created my skills and also I'm going to talk about the experiences I made. My name is Jolti, I'm from Hungary, but currently I live in Germany, in Berlin. I do Power BI videos on this channel, I mostly into productivity and design. And basically I just share what I learn. And if you are into these kind of things or just generally like to geek out about Power BI like I do, then you might find some cool stuff here. So how good do you have to be to get a first job? It really depends on the position but i would say for a junior position it's around average or maybe even below average i did two self-assessments one is from a website called powerbi.tips which has like a matrix a skill matrix and here are my scores what i did here are the focus points of the skills and i did a comparison with the year difference I did both assessments at the same time and I just estimated the values like you can read here the values from the table and then assessing it accordingly. And as you can see, I had like around 40 points, which is nothing impressive. But what's cool about it is to show the difference like to one year prior, so how much I developed. And then I just made a nice radar chart to showcase it. And then I did another assessment based on my own focus points. Some work ethic, project management, that's new stuff and like user friendliest presentations. They are kind of overlapping with each other, but these were points which were important for me. And I just did also the assessment. And as you can see, it's quite similar. I had also a big increase in one year. And this is how it looks like in the radar chart. Yeah, it's like more than 100% increase, it's more than doubled. I also put it into Power BI just to have this Power BI-ish layout. And this is how these look like. So this is mine. I also highlighted the difference and also here. And at the end, I just put them in a PDF file and send them together with my application. I put one variation. This is from the Power BI file and this is from the Excel file. I put the link here and some description and then i did the same for my own variation power bi file and from the excel file and then i just wrote down what i meant with each focus point and this is the matrix uh, which i took the first variant from i put the link in the video description and you can download all the files i just showed you and you can do your own assessment if you go into the Excel file, actually you can just replace these values and you can also extend them. They are like just made based on these two columns. And the same is for this one. And in the Power BI file, actually I just put the values manually in so you can do the same stuff. Or you can just build your own self-assessment. This is just you can take it as a brainstorming example and do your own really that's the best probably so in my case i did this and how i applied i just sent out a bunch of applications with my cv with my cover letter i had a cover letter template i just adjusted it every time depending on the employee and then this self-assessment i didn't even have a portfolio so if you have it's great but you might not really need it because at the end, I think this skill set is just one aspect, which is cool. You need basic skills, but I think what's more important is your personality, like how well you fit to the company you want to work for. This is a junior position, so most things you will learn on the job anyway. And what's more important is like how well you fit really. So besides skill set, I think mindset is also very important i already talked about numbers games so i just sent out as many applications as possible i was lucky to be honest to get this job i only had to send out seven applications i got two interviews from it and i got the first job so that's very lucky i was expecting to maybe send out 20 something like that and then maybe I will get one or two interviews. Then I already talked about the personality, how important is it? 
I was just very excited on the interview. I was very passionate about the topic. I was really wanting to work something like this. I was very willing to learn and this enthusiasm really comes through on the interview. I was nervous, but like my excitement really overpowered this anxiousness and that was great. And also the mindset I had was, you know, it's one thing we are looking for a job. I was looking for a job and you know, of course you hope you get a job as quickly as possible, but on the other hand, it's not just they are interviewing you, you are also interviewing these places because it matters for you equally as much as for them how this work relationship is going to turn out. It's really not just, oh, I hope that I'm gonna get this job, but also I hope that this is the right place for me. So this is equally as good for them to hire me than it is for me for them to hire me. One other aspect which is important is experience. Yeah, if it's a starting position, like it can happen that you don't have any experience. I had some prior experience and this is also something you can do. So my first job at my another company was at an accounting department and I basically just convinced my boss to make a project with Power BI. I was working as a working student back then and I also did an internship at this place and I just told them okay in this internship I would really like to make a project like this it's a really cool program it's for free and yeah they went with it and this was the first time I got an experience and after that I could find a job another working student job with Power BI it was not a Power BI developing job it was controlling, but they used this Power BI program that was very fresh for the company. And yeah, that was the first time I spent one and a half years there. And from that time for one year, I was partially working with this program. So that's something I could already put in my CV as experience. And then after this, I got this full-time job. So this self-assessment is really just one part of the puzzle which is not even a necessity but it might help and why not to take any advantage you can take and maybe it will help you to get your first job as a power bi developer or something similar where you can already work with it it's gonna be a different journey for everyone one thing i want to point out is if you do this just be honest about your skill levels because if you're lying about it and they let's say they hire you they are going to find out because you cannot deliver what you promised and it's also bad for you because you will have this anxiety the whole time that you are going to be revealed that you are going to be exposed, that you actually cannot do these things. You don't have to be an expert. I think it's more important to be honest and it comes back to the personality gain. It just shows a lot about you that you are able to show that you cannot do these things. You show your weaknesses. So this is really just being vulnerable and playing with open hands. I think it's really beneficial for you and it also gives a peace of mind. I hope you like this video. If you want, you can give it a like and see you next time.